One of the most popular cases we've ever designed here at Corsair is our Carbide Series Air 540. It had an active cooling chamber to cool your CPU and GPU, and a passive chamber on the rear for power supply cables, PSUs, and storage drives that didn't need as much cooling. But because we believe you could always do better, this is the spiritual successor to the Air 540, the 680X RGB. It shares the same dual chamber layout as the Air 540 with an entirely new and refined look. There are three floating tempered glass panels on the front, the top, and the side, so you can show off your components and fans. But these glass panels will not obstruct your cooling because we've designed a huge gap between the panel and the case so you can get plenty of airflow. On the I.O. panel, you'll find the standard connections plus a modern update with the USB 3.1 Type-C port. The 680X side panel swings open so you can easily build a new PC or just upgrade your existing one. In the front of the case, you can mount up to a 360mm radiator on top and bottom up to 280mm and even a 140 in the rear. And because you just spent a ton of cash on a brand new graphics card and you want to show it off to yourself and your friends, you have a 90 degree GPU mount in here so you can mount it vertically and look at it in all of its glory. But my favorite feature of the dual chamber design is that it is cheat mode for cable routing. You can use that second chamber to hide all of your cables while your first chamber stays fresh and clean looking. In the rear chamber, you can mount up to our AX1600i PSU, as well as three three and a half inch drives and four two and a half inch drives. Every 680X RGB comes with the Lighting Node Pro, which gives you full control over the RGB lighting of your system with our IQ software. With IQ, you can choose from dozens of built-in lighting profiles, or you can create your own. The Air 540 was a very successful case, but I think that the Crystal Series 680X RGB improves upon it in almost every way. For more information, head on over Getting the right PC case is more important than many people think. Having a case that can provide you with an array of options to suit all sorts of hardware and components means you're giving your hardware the best, most optimal space possible, and having the case look good too is a great bonus. Hey there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia, and allow me to introduce you to the last case you'll ever need, the Thermaltake Divider 500. The Divider 500 is 520mm high, 230mm wide, and 466mm deep. This means it's easily the heaviest hitter in our divider series, but it's still a mid-tower. It also leans towards the taller side, so you have tons of space for all sorts of hardware inside. The case comes equipped with three standard 120mm ARGB front fans, which can be controlled either via the button on your front I.O. port or through your motherboard software. Coming in both a sleek black or snowy white edition, the Divider 500 is an incredibly versatile case. For starters, it features a split panel design down both sides. These panels are interchangeable, the case coming with two alternative offerings too. So if you want a fully tempered glass side panel, you can have it. If you don't, then you don't have to. There are so many ways you can configure this gorgeous case, meaning you can choose a style that suits you. The Divider 500 also comes with a 3mm thick tempered glass panel on the top and front. However, this case is also available in an Air Edition, featuring mesh panels on the top and front instead, for even more sweet, sweet ventilation. The Air Edition, however, does not come with the three front pre-installed fans, but it does come with a pre-installed standard rear fan. So if glass panels aren't your jam, the Divider 500 has a style to suit you, with so much emphasis on providing you with peak functionality and options galore. Clearance and hardware support wise, the Divider 500 will not let you down, whether you want a simple air-cooled build or something more complicated. The Divider 500 can support a CPU cooler up to 170mm high, as well as a graphics card of up to 390mm in length without a radiator. You can run a PSU with a length of up to 220mm without an HDD cage, as well as a total of two 3.5 inch HDDs and five 2.5 inch SSDs. Or, if you ditch the mechanicals, a total of seven 2.5 inch SSDs. Finally, fan-wise, you can fit a total of three 140mm fans at the front or two up the top. You can also fit a radiator up to 360mm at the front or 280mm at the top. So, water cooling is certainly on the cards. The Divider 500 also comes with a whole variety of unique features that make this case stand out from the rest. Firstly, if you're concerned about airflow in our Temper Glass Edition, we've got you covered. The Divider 500 comes with a platitude of spots of ventilation, including on the sides, front and rear of the case, as well as at the intersections between the side panel divide itself. 
Additionally, the Divider 500 comes with excellent dust filtration, including a magnetic removable fan filter on the inner right side, front and base. Lastly, the Divider 500 comes with a rotational PCIe slots and a riser support bracket, so you can easily vertically mount your GPU if you wish. Opting for an aesthetic appeal that caters to both gamers wanting a sweet setup and the interests of the most hardcore PC building enthusiasts, the Divider 500 has it all. This is a case that has so many options, from hardware configuration to even the way the case itself looks. So if you're looking for a case that's efficient and practical while still leaving plenty of room for oohs and ahs, look no further than the Divider 500. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please leave us a like and pop any thoughts or questions you may have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still hanging around, why not check out any of the Thermaltake videos that'll be... builder with a lot of ideas in mind for your next build, then you need an incredibly versatile case. A case that can go above and beyond in terms of looks and functionality. Hey there, I'm Sarah from Thermaltake Australia and this is the Thermaltake Core P8 Full Tower Case. A case designed for ambitious builders just like you. The Core P8 is 660mm high, 260mm wide and 626mm deep. The case features not one, but three 4mm thick tempered glass windows, providing a stunning view of all your hardware. But if you don't want all that tempered glass, then you don't have to have it. If you're more of an open frame chassis kind of person, the Core P8 has got you covered there too, as the front and top panels are removable. This means whatever style of build you're going for, the Core P8 can accommodate you. The case also supports both 120mm and 140mm fans in pretty much every mounting location, so no matter how many fans you want to run with, this case has got your back. The Core P8 is very versatile and can support even the most ambitious of builds. You can run a CPU cooler with a max height of 180mm and up to an EATX motherboard. You can also run a graphics card of up to 320mm without a reservoir and 280mm with one. Finally, your PSU, which is mounted vertically, can have a max length of up to 200mm. The vertical mount PSU bracket is also movable, so you can adjust it to suit your specific power supply. The Core P8 has been specifically designed with water cooling in mind, so of course it supports all sorts of configurations. You can install up to a 480mm radiator on the front, up to a 360mm radiator along the top, or even up to a 240mm radiator on the bottom of the case. Additionally, the case has a pump mount that you can move around as you require. Finally, the case also can support a distro plate for those of you who want to take your custom water cooling setup to the next level. Once again, this case has an entirely dismantleable modular design, with removable panels, brackets and pre-designed mounting arrays. Even the base itself is removable, so there's no look that this case can't do for you. The Core P8 also has rotational PCIe slots so you can display your graphics card either horizontally or vertically, the case also including a riser cable. With all these awesome special features and space for hardware, you might worry that your storage will be left out, but never fear. The Core P8 can house up to six 2.5 inch SSDs or three 3.5 inch HDDs. These mounting spots can also be shifted around according to your needs. To help keep the dust and dirt away from your precious hardware, the case has three magnetic fan filters on the right, top and bottom of the case. 
The front I.O. ports come with two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports, as well as one USB Type-C port, all in an easy to access location. There are lots of good quality grommets and space for cable management out the back also, to ensure all those unsightly cables can be tucked away with ease. Finally, it wouldn't be a Core cool Series case without the option to wall mount, and the Core cool P8 is no exception. The VESA mount located at the rear of the case ensures that if you want to wall mount your gorgeous new case, you can do it with ease. So if you're a builder with a vision, then the Core P8 is the perfect case to help bring that vision to life. With tons of options to support all sorts of elaborate build ideas, with a particular emphasis on custom water cooling, the Core P8 showcases both your gorgeous hardware and building skills, and looks amazing while doing it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, remember to leave us a like and pop any thoughts or questions you may have in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ding the bell to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still here, check out either of these.